everybody. Look at y'all already up in here. I already clocked in for work. Y'all, let me tell you what happened to me. I, for y'all that don't know, I am very, very much so allergic to dogs. I am allergic to Tito and Taco. Very much so allergic to Tito and Taco. And a lot of times Axel jumps on them, rolls with them, plays on them. And if I'm not paying attention, she will then come run and jump on me. Then all of that dog stuff just gets in my face and oh, my face shuts down, my nose, I can't breathe. So that happened to me a little bit earlier. So I had to take some Benadryl, y'all. And my eyes are red from rubbing them. But I'm okay, guys. Allergies, y'all. Horrible. I, can, I became allergic to dogs maybe like five years ago. Randomly. Like, that's weird. I didn't know you could just develop an allergy like that. What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Damn, we got everybody here tonight. We got Missy, Melissa, Evil Critters, Sonia, Shirley, Anna, Helen, Shayla, Karen, Lori Young. Lori, I got your email. I emailed you back. Chaz is in the house. What is going on, Jenna? Thank you, Jenna. Michael, man, I appreciate you, Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, we got a lot of talk. We have a lot to talk about tonight. We got a lot to talk about tonight, family. Emma says she has the same problem. I'm allergic to grass. My dog walks in. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Jackie says I need to adopt a hyperallergenic pet. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because everybody that, that has a dog that tells me, oh, you won't be allergic to my dog. Still, it gets me. And you know what I really, really found out? When we were doing the show Hunted House Guests, because we had to go stay in people's houses for the weekend. And yeah, a lot of people had dogs. And I remember one night, like I was sleeping in the bed. I didn't even get under the sheets or nothing. I just laid on top of the bed and there was a cover. And y'all, what up Mary Tate? Thank you. That cover touched my face. Yo, I could not breathe. <laughs> like, they had to stop filming. Like, my whole, everything just shut down. Melanie, for the you had me crying last night with that PTO. Oh, you going all the way into it? Miss Kitty, she says, I'm allergic to everything, even the shots. Golly, I, Miss Kitty, I feel sorry for you, love. I feel sorry for you. I couldn't imagine being allergic to anything other than dogs. But golly. Melanie, we finna talk about that. We feel talk about that, Melanie. Uh, somebody says they're allergic to grass. I remember when I was little, my cousin was allergic to grass. I thought he was weird. I was like, bro, you allergic to grass? You can't go outside. <laughs> God don't like you if he make you allergic to grass. <laughs> cause, cause how? Why I can't walk? Why I can't walk barefoot on Earth? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, man. Mike Wooters clocking in from Delaware. Does Benadryl make you feel sleepy? Yes, Judith. Yes. And that's the problem. The Benadryl makes me sleepy. One of my son's allergy is to school soap. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> what up, Marie? I'm doing good. Okay, y'all. Y'all nephew Taco is scratching at the door trying to get in here. Hold on, guys. Let me. Y'all see him? <laughs> uh oh. Do y'all see our nephew? <laughs> oh, my bad. I guess he's over me, guys. I guess Taco's over us, y'all. <laughs> Taco is over us. I'm trying to get the camera. Give me, give me a second, baby. Give me a second, baby. 
Boom. What up, Keisha? Checking in from Indiana. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Tito and Taco love y'all too. I guess Taco was feeling left out of the party, y'all. But yes. Who saw last night's PTO video? Oh, God. We got visitors, y'all. Who saw last night's PTO? Jim, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Y'all, we have been talking about doing that for a few months now. Really for a long time. We've not been talking about doing it for like half a year. <laughs> But we finally pulled the trigger. We finally pulled the trigger on doing our first. <sighs> okay, y'all sent in a lot of great ideas for, for potential names. But a lot of people was like, we should just leave it PTO. And I was like, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Unless y'all just want a better name <laughs> for us to call it, we can just rock with PTO. But we finally did it. We finally pulled the trigger on it, y'all. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about it? Kevin. What up, Kevin? Oh, before we start, guys, I have an... I got something. Okay. <clears throat> I have something I would like to say. Lori, ah, oh, Lori, it's all love, Lori. Thank you, love. All of the work here at the Graveyard Shift would not be possible if it wasn't for our team behind the scenes, guys. They set up our PTO. They contacted the gentleman, Roy. They got his story. They got it to me. They put us in. They made sure I was safe and sound. Roy, you didn't even know I had Spider Queen lurking around the corner. <laughs> I had eyes on you, Roy. I had eyes in the sky on you, Roy, just in case. Helena, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Helena. Oh, we're definitely going to do more uh, PTOs. But y'all, thank you, Vihalo. Vihalo, thank you. But I'm saying all that to say, it is the team behind the scenes that you do not see that help make the graveyard shift world go round. And those people are, these will be our people that, mod that moderate our Facebook groups, the people that moderate our YouTube channels, the people that help respond to emails, and our researchers. <laughs> See, y'all didn't even know we got a whole squad behind the scenes, y'all. So I just want to give a special thank you and shout out, because I ain't learned everybody's name just by memory yet. <laughs> Keeping it funky with you. <laughs> But no, we got Jessica. I appreciate you, Jessica. Melanie, Trish, Terry, Joanne, Karen, Chaz, Pam, Kevin, Joanne, and Ronnie. Boom! Carolyn, Adrian, and Lynette. That is our team behind the scenes, y'all. Thank y'all so much for help moderating our Facebook group all throughout the day help moderating our YouTube channel through our lives, help researching all the places that I'm going and the stories that we're doing. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Mike, appreciate it, Mike. Appreciate it, Mike. All right, now back to the PTO session. I have been nervous to pull the trigger on, thank you, Denise. Denise, I'm, I'm working on, see, you reminded me, Denise, I appreciate you. I'm working on New Orleans now. I done put out the, I, I done sent out emails trying to get together some events. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen in the next couple days. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. See, you the first person that's going to remind me about New Orleans. You get a raise. I don't know what that means, but you get one. <laughs> Lori, thank you. Thank you. So I've been nervous about doing PTOs just because like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never professed to be a conduit to the other side. That is not what I do. That is not who I am. I don't want that responsibility, and I do not want that title. I truly believe that any one of y'all that is on here right now can pick up a spirit box and do the exact same thing I do. 
I have just been doing it a lot. <laughs> so now I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I'm starting to get it and hear it and do it. So, yeah, I'm not that person. I just, I wanted to be willing to help, help facilitate Lend my ear with my box and see if you hear the same thing I hear, but around someone that you knew and know. So we finally decided to try it and we tried it with a, the gentleman Roy. And yeah, man, I was blown away with the responses. Like I told Roy from the very beginning and what was cool was Roy's not, he, he's into spirit box sessions and stuff. But he's never been on an investigation. He's never had a ghostly spiritual, you know, experience. None of that. He was just interested in just seeing if he could talk to his friend. And the responses that came out were just, was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what makes me nervous is. What if the next session isn't anything like that? What if we don't get anyone? What if no one comes through? What if something dark comes through? Like we really out here not knowing. Dane says, I own a ghost box with noise canceling. My son built it for me. It's so cool. Best present I've ever gotten. Dane, have your, your son make us one for the graveyard shift. Samantha, would you be willing to come to Warsaw, Indiana for an event? It's at the Kasioka Sakaloka County Jail. For sure. I'm always down to come to events. You just got to send me an email. Our email is thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com. Rosie says, we cannot know together. Right? Right? Lazaria says, Roy said, doesn't matter. It'll be a great experience just to shift with you. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Roy was great and Danny came through as a happy camper. Glad to see his buddy. You did a great day. Man, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you, Millie. Did you get my email? I sent you and Stacy a photo of Slate. I hope you both like it. Love all your videos. Millie, uh, I have not gotten the email yet, but Chaz, I'm sure, has gotten it and she will make sure I get it. So I know Chaz is on here. So Chaz, let's be on the lookout for that email, please, from Miss Mealy Robinson. Thank you, Mealy. I am pinning the email address, y'all. So if anybody else would like for me, okay, let me ask you this. Do y'all think that we should keep up this, the PTO series? Would y'all like to see more of those videos? Kate says, reminder, Dalen, a few months ago, you said, think big. Don't sweat it, fearless leader. You are right, Kate. We got to think big. We got to think big. Somebody said, can I twerk? Thomas, I think you're on the wrong channel, buddy. We twerk for ghosts. <laughs> we spiritual twerk. Okay. Okay. So y'all are digging these PTO sessions. All right. The people have spoken. You should Zoom with Roy in to see what he thought about your edits. I definitely will. Roy posted a uh, a comment on last night's video and I pinned his comment. So it's the first comment when you go back to that video and he kind of tells you about his experience. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know. He was like, he said he was blown away during the process, but he didn't want to like show it. Yeah, so it was cool. Where's our CEO, Stacy? Oh my goodness. Is that what y'all want? <laughs> Stacy. Is she down here? I'm sure she is, y'all. Because she knows I'm alive. So if not, she will be down here soon. <laughs> toots, toots. I appreciate that. It says, good man, I respect you. I'm just saying the paranormal isn't entertaining to me. I put my religion aside when I woke. I remember the cliff I was walking down. And I recognize the faces who love me. Hey, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. The paranormal is not for everybody. I get it. I get it. I was never into it either at all until I started just exploring. 
But I just fell into the graveyard shift, man. It's crazy, man. Like, I'm starting to feel like, dang. Look what I tell y'all. No, no, no. Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> Come on back. Come on back, Jack. Can you open the door, please? Everyone just asked about you. They were just wondering where CEO Stacy was. Hello. This <laughs> y'all. Y'all, please stop hyping her up. <laughs> Please stop hyping her up, y'all. <laughs> she tried to act like she didn't want to come in here just now. <laughs> she was in the kitchen making noise, rattling in there, rattling pots. <laughs> she in there rattling pots. Y'all, oh my gosh. We have so much mail to open. I ain't even start opening up mail. Today's going to be a, a opening up mail, talking about PTO stuff. Type of, type of live. Do y'all mind sitting back and talking to me for a little bit tonight? I feel like we need to break down last night's episode. We need to talk about what's what we gonna do next. And I think we need to go through all of this mail. Y'all feel like just kicking it for a little bit? Oh, Diane, I appreciate you. Kimber, thank you. Thank you. It, Eric gonna say, where is Pokey? Now, Eric. If you for one minute, if you for one minute think Pokey ain't in arm's distance away from me, then you must be tripping. Because Pokey gonna always be near me. Now, y'all, let's speak of Pokey. Speak of Pokey. I have been getting concerns. I have been getting emails. People have been posting Facebook posts in our group. <laughs> I see everything. I have eyes everywhere. And people are concerned for my safety with my handling of Pokey. <laughs> Apparently, people think I'm a little bit reckless <laughs> with Pokey. <laughs> I get your concern. <laughs> I get your concern. But I promise you, he the mama, don't worry about coming to New Orleans, love. It's gonna be every year. We go. This is our the thing that I'm trying to plan in New Orleans. I'm trying to plan that like once a year. Like that'd be our big thing, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, man. They out here, Linda. They out here worried about me. I'm gonna cut my finger off. <laughs> they worried about me cutting slice of my finger off. I said that's the last thing y'all need to worry about. You need to worry about me slacking. But nah, I'm safe, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm not gonna hurt nobody. It's just like Rochelle said, it's just an extens it's just an extension of my hands at this point. But somebody did make a, another point. I was like, dang, I guess I ain't thinking about that. <laughs> it was not funny. But they was like, they don't want they're from the UK, and apparently poking is is rampant over there. So they don't want me to like, you know, encourage indirectly or incite indirectly the poke activity. You know what I'm saying? Which I was like, dang, I guess you know, I don't realize that maybe I could be an influence to people watching me. And I don't want them to think that I'm like promoting poking. You know what I mean? Promoting unprovoked poking. <laughs> but then I got to thinking... I was like, she must not know the ratio and the demographics of my audience. <laughs> Y'all, my audience is 55 and up. <laughs> if I can, if I, listen, if I can influence Grandma Deb at 76 <laughs> to go on a poking spree, <laughs> then listen, I'm, I'm in the wrong business, baby. I'm in the wrong business, baby. <laughs> The Graveyard Shift family, we are on the upper side of 50. <laughs> and that, look, Gloria, Gloria 52. Gloria, look, 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 Miss Nikki, she 55. How old are you? Elsa, Elsa, you 60, baby. Elsa, if I gave you Pokey right now at 60, you're going to get Pokey, you're going to put Pokey right here. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to hold Pokey right there like where it's supposed to be held in a 65-year-old so you can get to it quick. You gonna get it's gonna be there, 
And it's gonna be it's gonna be right next. It's gonna be right next to them two dollars you keep in there. It's gonna be right there. Safe and sound. You ain't gonna use it. You ain't gonna use it unless you got to. I'm trying to tell you, it's just like that. Look at that, 58. We got 59, Kelly 59, Peggy 63, Michael 62, Nicole gonna be 54 next month. Michelle is 57, Ramona is 67, Samantha gonna be down 50 next year. Rebecca's 58, Trudy is 70, Beverly is 71. Y'all, Sonia, it has. Thank you, Sonia. She said, this family has come so far since the start. You're a great leader, Dayla. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. Don't worry. Man, listen, y'all are a great organization. I will have our Adidas jumpsuit and the grape Kool-Aid. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Oh, that was a horrible joke. Damn. That was a, heaven, a Heaven's Gate reference, guys. And I should not have made that joke. <laughs> But I do have, I have. <laughs> no, that comment just sounded real heaven gate -ish. You are an excellent leader, Daylin. No, no. We are a club. We are a club. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. This is adult hour, guys. Adult humor. Seth said, D, I can see you in a Puma brand warm-up suit. No, nah, man. <laughs> no. We promote life. We don't drink the Kool-Aid. Brenda is 60. Will be 65? What we got? <laughs> life of the story said her grandmama always keep her money in her bra. She got to. That's the safest place it's going to be. Uh, 58 in June. No, people call me the shift leader. Because this is like a job, and I'm kind of like the manager on call, like the shift leader, you know, kind of like, like at your day job. Nothing like that. I ain't leading like a cult or nothing, hence the Heaven's Gate reference joke I just made. Nah, we're just like a job. We're an after-school program. Y'all, Betty Curlin. Betty Curlin sent your boy something. Ronnie, the Benadryl's kicking in. <laughs> Please... Please, y'all, uh, forgive me for the jokes. Gail, you 68? I can't wait till we do this Zoom. I cannot wait till we do the Zoom. Got a pokey in my pocket. Sarah, Sarah got a pokey in her pocket and she 53. That sounds like the start of a rap song. Damn it, I forgot. Uh, what's her name's rap lyrics, man? I promise you, I promise you I'm gonna do better. Jennifer Twin Peaks National Banks is what my mom calls it. <laughs> Your mama called a booby bank Twin Peaks National Bank. <laughs> I call it the booby bank. All right, y'all. Let's see. First shifter mail from Betty Betty Curling, a.k.a. Better Ryan, Better Ryan. Dear Dalen, I'm Betty Curling. I just became a shifter not too long ago. I watch you all the time. Love the Ghost Brothers, too. I still watch them. I'm sorry I'm late with your birthday present. I sent a card. I hope you got it. Your gift of protection bracelet is supposed to have three times the protection. You can't be too safe. Betty, I appreciate you. Oh, she got me the triple strength protection bracelet. The triple strength protection bracelet. Appreciate you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Uh-oh, we got a car from St. Louis, Missouri. All right, look, y'all. Zoom call, everyone but Joe. Yeah, y'all know Joe can't, Joe can't join the Zoom call because Joe don't wear pants. And Joe, we can't have that. Erica Mosby says, love, love, love. I got my t-shirt and I just love it. Can't wait till the next one drop. If ever come to Memphis, I wouldn't mind shifting with you. Send Stacy, baby girl, my love. Stay blessed. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, Melissa, I didn't forget your raps, but the thing is, I don't have your raps memorized. Your raps are on my phone, but when I go live, I'll be on my phone. So what I have to do is send your raps to my iPad before the live, <laughs> and then I can read your raps on the live. But I always forget until I get on the live, if you know what I'm saying. 
I apologize. <clears throat> I apologize, but I got you. Easter wishes for both of you, y'all. Aw. Have you ever spent the night at the Limp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri? I have not. I want to go there, but I can't afford to yet. You will one day, I promise you. Where's the scariest place you spent the night? Um, The scariest place I spent the night? Uh, maybe the Fitzpatrick Hotel in, in Washington, Georgia. Do you still bring flowers with you on graveyard ships? I do, but not as much as I should. I got to get better at that. I need to bring flowers every time I come out to a ship. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Becky. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, Joe don't wear pants. Back to Joe and his non-pants wearing ass. Joe, you better not get on this Zoom call without no pants. I got somebody for you. You think Pokey go, you think Pokey scary. Wait till I call my boy Chris Hansen in. <laughs> Yo, don't nobody want Chris Hansen to come in. <laughs> Chris Hansen coming in offering you some iced tea and a seat. <laughs> okay, happy birthday, Daylin. I hope we're friends until we die. Then I hope we stay ghost friends and walk through walls and scare the shit out of people. Aw. Thank you. Dear Dalen, I hope this wish is just the beginning of a terrific year for you. Keep doing everything and all you're doing. My husband and I enjoy all videos. Love. Sharon and Michael Desario. Oh, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for that. I haven't been to the Sally house yet. I have not been to the Sally house yet. Chris Hansen is going to be on Joe. <laughs> as soon as Joe gets to Wilder, Chris going to be gonna be like, oh, come here and have a seat. Oh, you wanted some, you wanted some iced tea. <laughs> come here and have a seat. <laughs> we going to get you, Joe. <laughs> Dalen, ever shift with the handicap? Uh, Mariko, nah, but I'm down. I'm for sure down. We don't discriminate. How messed up would that be? <laughs> How messed up of a person would I be if I was like, mm, you're handicapped? Nah, that's whack. I don't, listen, I don't, if you were in a wheelchair, I will push you through that cemetery to get you to your loved one. I'm here for everybody. I am here for everybody. Uh, Anita says, P.S. I did not lick this. Yup, germs. So by her telling me she did not lick this, I am 100% sure she did lick this. <laughs> you can't trick me, Anita. <laughs> you can't trick me with reverse psychology. <laughs> oh. What is this? What is this? Oh, she got me some stickers. She done took one of them. How you take one of my stickers, though? <laughs> How you gonna give me a used sticker book, Anita? <laughs> Anita, what you thought I wasn't gonna see it was gone, Anita? <laughs> Anita? Anita done took her favorite sticker and gave me the rest of them. Anita, I'm not even mad at it. What is this, Anita? I am blessed with your kindness. And my heart overflows with gratitude after I stole one of your stickers. <laughs> but no, Anita, what is this? This is a silver dollar. She gave me a 1967 silk, oh no, half dollar. Somebody said it's on the envelope. Where do you see the sticker on the envelope, love? Where, where is that? <laughs> Did she put it on there? But that, what is this? I gotta look into this. This is so cool, but I just wanna know why you gave it to me. Tracy, Tracy says, what do I do with all the gifts that I'm giving? And let me show you where they're Hide it out for right now. There's a lot of them right there. Booyah. 
Let me show you where some more are. Uh, uh, right under there. Booyah. Let me show you where some more are. Booyah. There go my chairs. I'm going to start using. Uh, for those that sent me the lawn chairs for shifting, I apologize. They have been repurposed for axle soccer chairs. They have been repurposed for axle soccer chairs, guys. Um, but just let you know, they are getting used weekly by the family. Thank you for that. Now, somebody said the sticker is on the envelope that she that she lied and said she didn't lick. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anita. Now that's super cool. Somebody says I need to, Terry Block says I need to go to Ming, Minger Hotel in San Antonio. Okay. Miss Nikki says Dalen Franklin Castle in Cleveland. Okay. You can use that half dollar to buy some good water. Joe, I'm going to ban you, Joe. <laughs> Jenna says Dalen, they should, they should OD seriously put your lives on streaming service. You are so flipping funny. Jenna, Gina. Thank you, Gina, baby. <laughs> I appreciate you. Listen, y'all. I enjoy entertaining y'all. Like, y'all mean a lot to me. For sure. For sure. So, so we got the half dollar going. We got the half dollar going. All right. So we got PTOs. PTOs, y'all. If you're interested in me coming and help you or assist with you talking to your loved one, Please send me an email to the email address that's pinned on this channel and label the email PTO, PTO, and uh, yeah, tell me who you are, what city you're in, and uh, the story behind the person you want to contact. And you have to come with me. You have to come with me. Those sessions, I do not just go to your family or friends resting space without you. You have to be there with me. Uh, and people have been asking how much does it cost? Like, how much does it cost? What? Just seven easy payments of $79.99.99. That's it. Just seven easy payments. $79.99.99. No, I'm just playing. It's free, y'all. It's free. It's free. I come to you. I come to you I invest my resources and my funds from the channel into me traveling to you. So you ain't got to worry about nothing. Nobody has to worry about anything. You just got to let me film it. <laughs> That's all I ask. We have a special birthday card in the midst of your busy life. If your birthday gives you a moment to reflect on what you mean to say to so many, may you feel happy knowing that you're thought of warmly. Aw, thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. Sandra, thank you. Thank you. Where can I find a link to attend a Zoom event or did I miss the boat? No, Stephanie, we haven't set a date yet. We've just been collecting email addresses. we just been collecting email addresses. We're waiting for me to... I'm traveling every weekend, like the next two weeks. Just April. April's just been really busy with travel. And the majority of people said they wanted to do the Zoom on the weekend. Here's the form. I'm going to pin the form. If you need to sign up for the Zoom, just click this link. It's going to ask you for your name, email address, and just the city that you're from. Uh, yeah, so as soon as I get off the road in April, yeah, we're going to do it. So probably like the beginning of May. Yep. And I'm going to click the Zoom. I'm going to set up the Zoom. It's probably going to be a lot of y'all in there. So please come correct <laughs> and respectful. And you'll be able to raise your hand on the Zoom. It's like a button you can press, and it lets it like it raises like a virtual hand. And I can see who all wants to be brought in to speak or whatever. Now I'm gonna bring you in one by one to ask questions, talk for a couple seconds. We won't get to everybody, but hopefully, the more Zooms we do, the more people we get to talk to. Happy birthday to you, Dalen. Dear Dalen, hoping that you and your family are doing well. The happiest of birthdays to you. Love, Don LaBerge. Thank you, Don. Yup, Beth, tell them. Wear clothes during the Zoom, y'all. Ain't no frisky business going on. 
Thank you, Uniquely Me. I appreciate that. You be blessed too. A wish for every one of you. Thank you for bringing the graveyard shift to all of us, from my family to yours. Happy Easter. Oh, one of your fans, Leah. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. All right, y'all. We got some packages. Let's open up some boxes real quick. This is from the Underground Attic Studio. What is this? What is this? What is this? Dalen, our fearless leader. Dot, 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 not a cult. <laughs> I got to start putting that out there, man. Our fearless ship leader. That's not a, a that is not of a cult. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Addy. It says. Dalen, here's a little gift from my shop. I'm a shifter. Now you are a dweller. Love, love, love. Addy. Okay, let's see what Addy Shop does, y'all. Okay. Okay. The Underground Attic Studio. Y'all check out the Underground Attic Studio. The Underground Attic Studio. A wearable art and treasures for the unique, uncommon, and unusual. It's wearable art. So I guess she makes t-shirts, y'all. Y'all check her out. The Underground Attic Studio. Addy, doing your thing, Addy. Appreciate you. What we got here? What we talking about? I need to get a shirt. I joined the crew after the last drop. Kelly, will you better hop on the bandwagon because they go like fish grease. That don't even make sense. How does something go like fish grease? Enjoy a gift from Joanne Garrity. The Brothers Bulger, how they terrorized and corrupted Boston for a quarter century. Ooh. Y'all, I enjoy reading. So, if you have any books, you're interested in any books, <laughs> you want to recommend any books, please send me some. Thank you so much, Joanne. What's up, what's up? Somebody said I need to sharpen pokey suit. My girl and I watch you all the time. She got me watching it for real. Like your show, Graveyard Gang from Pittsburgh. Azula, man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Y'all, we're going to start. We're going to start growing. We're going to start getting big, y'all. The plan is literally to start doing more PTO sessions so they can be more personable. Doing more, like, murder mysteries and uh, more celebrities, y'all. That's kind of what I want the channel to be. So if y'all are cool with that, let me know. I haven't thought about doing an EV at my brother's grave, but I'm scared to do it. Maureen, you have to be ready to do it on your own time. You got to be ready to do it on your own time. What genre of books do you do you like? Anything, anything from self-help to mystery to true stories. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anything that's a good read. Somebody, what is this, a photo slate? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Robinson, Mealy Robinson. This is like a glass plaque with me and my wife from our wedding. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Thank you so much. My wife is going to have a field day with this. Oh, wow. Let me put this over here before I break it. Thank you so much. That's really, really cool. That's really, really thoughtful. Thank you, Mealy. That's dope. 
Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda, you good. You are good. Y'all, so we got to line up where we're going next. I'm headed to, this is from Thermocell Repellents. I'm headed to Minnesota on Thursday to be with Dave Schrader. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We getting ready for the spring. We got some mosquito repellent. We got some mosquito repellent. We got some mosquito repellent, guys. This is from Paula Wilson. Paula Wilson. But yeah, y'all, we got a lot coming up. Wait. Oak Island is on the right. Oh, wow. Another book? See? That's what I'm talking about. We have Bill O'Reilly and Martin Duggar killing the mob. And we have the Purple Gang organized crime in Detroit. I love it. 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 Thank y'all for y'all that's just kicking back, shooting the stuff with us. I know we ain't talking about nothing tonight. I don't expect a lot of people to stick around. But we just kicking back, chilling. That's it. We got some more shifts dropping this week. Mealy says, Dang, I personally made the photo rock slate myself. I'm glad you like the birthday gig. Sorry, no card cause brain fart. Mealy, no, that's super dope. My wife is going to love it. That is, you should sell those. Gussie. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't even want to show y'all what Gussie done sent me. I don't want to show y'all what Gussie sent, guys. Y'all. Y'all. We got sticky. It's over now, guys. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We got pokey and sticky. Guys. Guys. You're making me feel dangerous. <laughs> you are making me feel dangerous. Look at the size difference. <laughs> we got sticky and pokey. <laughs> Oh, one for each hand, baby. One for the week and one for the weekend. <laughs> See, y'all, I blame y'all. I blame y'all. Y'all are encouraging me. <laughs> y'all are encouraging me. I'm a, now I can, I can accessorize my weaponry with my outfit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I got my little suit on, my little, you know, a pinstripe suit with a nice little tie, Mama BM, thank you, love. I got a nice little bow tie on with a pocket square. I'm going to have Pokey with me because that's just classy. But if I'm outside in my Nike tech, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my Nike tech with the hat back. I got to have Sticky with me because <laughs> Sticky's a little bit more versatile. Sticky got a belt clip. Sticky got a belt clip. Stick the, the, the sleekness of Sticky. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Y'all love me. And I love y'all back. 
<laughs> Y'all. Oh my gosh. What else we got? What else do we have? This is from Tracy Stover. This is from Tracy Stover. Woo. Let me go ahead and uh, inaugurate Sticky. <laughs> Let's Sticky in. Oh, Sticky Cut. Look how Sticky Cut. Oh, Sticky Cut. Hey. Don't let me. Hold on. How, how close Sticky? Uh oh. I ain't figured out how to close Sticky yet, y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> I ain't figured out how to close Sticky. Do any of my... Oh, no. This is how you do it. Oh, no, that ain't how you do it. Y'all, I don't know how to close Sticky. There ain't no button. What button? Now I gotta carry Sticky at ready mode at all times. What does this do? Y'all, I'm not ready for Sticky yet. <laughs> A man knows his limits and limitations. I'm not ready to handle Sticky yet. <laughs> sticky a little bit too advanced for me, guys. I gotta figure out how to close Sticky. <laughs> I gotta, let me go back to old trusty, old trusty. Push the thing, push that to the side. Push what? See, Pokey got a little button on the back. Cause Pokey classy. Sticky. There is no button on the back, y'all. Lindy, thank you, thank you. I have not seen my card yet. It's a Postal graveyard. Pull the lever you was just picking at and hold it over as you gently bend the knife. Let me see. Pull the lever I was just picking at. Oh! <laughs> I got it! I got it! That was actually very great instructions. <laughs> you need to be an instruction writer because that was so clear, straight to the point, and you solved my problem. Thank you. Thank you. What we got, y'all? Okay. From Warren, Lorna, from Tracy. Oh, y'all, they typed their letters, y'all. <laughs> Not y'all over here clapping y'all hands that I finally got sticky together. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. They tripping off me because I don't know how to handle my weapon tree that I just received via, via mail from somebody I don't know. <laughs> Dear Daylin, your channel is so refreshing, but I love every one of them. Ghost Brothers is also good, and I hope you'll be able to bring it back. I love your packaging card opening, and your family is so endearing. I also want you to know that I can do remote viewing reading if anyone would like to do this. She doesn't do it for money. She does it to help others. That's cool. Lorna. Lorna does remote readings if anyone needs that. Tracy says, Dear Dana, I wanted to reach out to you to say how much I enjoy your channel. Your channel is enjoyable to watch because it's refreshing, warm, funny, while being serious at the same time. You're an excellent paranormal investigator with a heart of gold who truly cares about spirits. We need more paranormal investigators like you in the field. Thank you. You wrote some more, but I want to read it because you're talking about history and stuff. So I'll read all of this when I get offline. Thank you all. Let's see what you gave me. Let's see what you gave me. Ooh. Oh, I already know who can steal this. Stacy is a cut stealing lady. Got ghosts. Giddy, Gettysburg does. Thank you so much. Uh oh. Stacy gonna for sure steal that. Uh-oh. What is this? <laughs> Axel has a cup too with candy. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we got some stickers. 
Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, family. Somebody said they're interested in remote reading. Hey, whoever that was, go ahead and put y'all's name. Y'all make that connection. And that's what y'all do, man. Y'all do that. Do that. I'm not responsible for nothing that come out of that job. Don't say I promoted nobody in their services. Y'all have me out here. Y'all talking to Miss Cleo. <laughs> Call me now. Call me now. For $10.99 a minute, you can call me now. Y'all, they say Miss Cleo was out there getting over on people. <laughs> Let's be honest. How many who all in the graveyard shift has ever called Miss Cleo? Y'all, hey, y'all old enough have, to have called Miss Cleo in the 90s. I know one of y'all done called Miss Cleo. Who, who gonna be honest <laughs> and tell me that they got swindled by Miss Cleo? Oh, there go Denise. There go Denise. She said, I did once. <laughs> Jess, Jess done got caught up. <laughs> Chaz done called Miss Cleo. <laughs> okay, so when you call Miss Cleo, do you really, did y'all really talk to her? Or is it like, did she have a team of people? <laughs> call me now. And you call the number, it's some, it's some dude named Teddy on the other line. So, hello. Hello. Yeah, I can, I can tell you what's gonna happen to your life, baby. Yeah, Johnny ain't no good for you, baby. <laughs> Johnny ain't no good for you. Who do y'all talk to? Did y'all talk to Miss Cleo? Did y'all talk to a woman with a Jamaican accent? Y'all mouth is dry. Or did y'all talk to a representative? <laughs> Melanie said, I talked to Mike, not her. That's how you know Miss Cleo was full of it. Her commercial didn't come on, like you said, to 2 a.m. Y'all, what... what See, it's stuff like this that makes me worried, guys. Because I got a styrofoam box <laughs> that got stuff on it. <laughs> what is a styrofoam box with stuff on it? Then I open it up and it's like somebody's head. <laughs> and then, then starts the timer. <laughs> and it's like the movie saw. David, you've always lived your life. Without fear, going to graveyards like you were better than those that were resting. Now it's time to play a little game. <laughs> you have 36 hours to find where the key is buried. <laughs> y'all, what would y'all do if I opened up this box and then I ended up on Saw? <laughs> live, and this is live stream. What if this was the new? Episode, the new movie saw, <laughs> and I'm live streaming to my family, and literally, <laughs> it starts when I open up this stuff. It says, Dear Daily, thank you for all you do. I appreciate all of your hard work. I look forward to watching all of your videos, but now it's time for you to meet your truth. No, I'm just playing. You are truly the best. We'd love to meet you in person someday. This is from Christina Pagan. AKA Saw. Okay. Ooh, I hate the sound of uh, styrofoam. This is so cool, y'all. This is a mug. My bad for letting y'all down. I know y'all thought y'all was about to see the movie Saw. Uh, <laughs> Y'all thought y'all was about to see the movie Soft Start in real time. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much. That's so cool. That's one of my favorite pictures of me. I, ain't know, I don't know how you know that, but that's cool. Now I can sit out of me. Now I can drink out of me, baby. Baby, have you ever drank out of you? Because I drink out of me, baby. <laughs> I drink out of me, baby. Y'all. I love y'all. All right, we got... I got three more cards. Who somebody said I didn't get theirs? This is from... Please read card or not on air. 
You better be glad I read that first. Because <laughs> I was going right to it. I was going right to... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm going to read it off air. Who is this from? Well, whoever sent it, I'm going to read it off air like you told me to. I'm not going to put your business in the street Z. This is from Kim Maxwell. And it says, last chance, get out of hell free. Man, y'all think I'm going to hell for real? <laughs> y'all think I'm going to hell for real, man? Somebody said my daughter called Miss Cleo and I got a bill for $400. <laughs> Miss Cleo was in there asking her about her day. Let's see what this says. On your birthday, remember, you can teach an old dog new tricks. David, Dalen, but you can play a new trick on an old dog. Uh, I hope you have a fabulous birthday because you deserve it. Much love, Kim. Did you get the card? Did the card get you? It did because I had it upside down. <laughs> and then you sent a letter. Okay, I'm going to read this to myself. This is... I hope this letter finds you well, Fear the Shift Leader. I would like to thank you for entertaining me. You have a wonderful sense of humor, and I enjoy your investigations. All right. I work with senior citizens. I drive a bus, and today I wore my future girl shirt. I showed it to him, and this was the conversation that followed. I'm going to read this. This is dope. I appreciate you. Yo, I got one more, and we're going to get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. It says, from Karen Maruka. Karen Maruka. Here we go. This says, Hi, Dalen, I made you these for you, Karen. What up, Anthony? Oh, did it freeze? Did I freeze on y'all? Uh-oh, I think something might have happened. Oh, is it still there? Let me see what we got right here, y'all. Okay, just making sure, <laughs> y'all. What up, Sarah? Y'all, that's what they've been saying. That YouTube has been unsubscribing people. Miss <laughs> Randy says, "If you go, we all go." Thank you, thank you. They say that YouTube has been unsubscribing people, man. So y'all gotta make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. So like right now, they say it's only thirty people in here. Like we just had like. 800 people a couple seconds ago. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, y'all. I don't know what's going on. This says, Daylin, the graveyard shift. This is cool. This says, Stacy Harlem Hops. This is cool. And this is for Axel. I'm unsubsidized. I work for you. Melanie, thank you, baby. I appreciate you. I was your 550 follower. John, I appreciate you, John. I appreciate you. Y'all, I have truly, truly, truly enjoyed y'all. I love talking to y'all. Y'all make my day. Y'all make my night. So please remember, if you're interested in me coming to you and doing a PTO, if you're interested in me coming to you and doing a PTO, send me an email, y'all. TheGraveyardShiftTV at gmail.com. The Graveyard Shift TV at gmail.com, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you and I'll try to get out to you. Y'all, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. Love, love, love. And we'll be back to shifting tomorrow.